and here we are HMP Armley where I came for the first time uh, in a prison 1976 this is where I came as a Borstal boy and this is where they used to send you uh, as I say, it was 1976 and uh, I had just been given six months to two years Borstal it was my first whack now here, as you can see on the left is the works department for works officers uh, excuse me boss you got any drugs in pocket there for inmates? I've worked on these works so I know who smuggles what in and who don't and like to you you are a very nice candidate to do that and here we have the gatehouse welcome to it and as you see we are in the gatehouse of HMP Armley why? It's a public right accessible. Yeah, this is not. Can you stand out there, please? No, love. Can you stand out there, please? I was here, 1976, me? as a Borstal boy. Tell them what happened here. And uh, this is when the Black Panther was remanded here. And uh, I was the B2 number one roll board. And uh, the Panther was in the category A. The category A. The category A cell where he was observed because he had just received a life sentence. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I haven't declined. Phone police. You're not allowed in here. Phone police. Phone police, love. Pardon? Oh, yeah. Where's your mask? My mask's here. Why ain't you got it on? There's 300 cases in here. Confirmed coronavirus cases. And you've got staff here. Staff here, look. With no mask on. You're spreading the disease in here. Pardon? It's publicly accessible. Why don't you just phone police? Phone police. Phone police. Phone police. Have you got any drugs in your pocket, boss? I work, don't work. Yeah, boss, have you got any spice? I'll buy a 10 spot off you. He's selling it, I'll buy some. See? I've just told him I work, don't work. We'll get you as well, mate. Have you got any comments to make? Where's your mask? The 300 cases confirmed here. A coronavirus. You're not, you're in my face, get away. Social distancing. Social distancing. Put your masks on. I'm going to report you. No mask. No mask. What is Yeah, it is now. You're on film, mate. You're on film. 300 confirmed coronavirus cases. Put your mask on. Stop three people in And as you saw there, they didn't even have a mask on. I told them. I told them to confirm. Now. If we stand back, if, if you look here, if you look from here, all this new section of wall is all part of new development when they built E-Wing. 2002 this was put up, look, and they built E-Wing. That was when Armley refused any uh, more prisoners over 900 because uh, there were three in the cell at that time. This prison at that time were only out designed to house 900 prisoners. What you did, swap out, swap halfway? Uh, 
I'm not just sure if they'll come to me in a minute. Uh, I see some of the prisons they've still got the old sloops, what they used to use. Yes, yes, they've still got all that, all that's still there. Although they've put toilets in cell, you have to eat in that cell. And who wants to uh, eat the dinner while the pad mate's having a crap, you know what I mean? Um, that's against European law, that half, for an HMP pay a fine for those toilets every year. Because it's um, it, in Europe it's illegal to eat in the same place that you're yes. using toilets. Yes, and if you look over here, this wing you can see end of, that's D-wing. On end of that was where hospital wing was. Where, uh, in 1981, I was hospital orderly. Uh, now here, is where the old gatehouse was and where Lift Free on his last visit weren't sure if this was old gatehouse. I, I, I remember being here and I wasn't sure what it was. Yes, and uh, when you go, if you go straight in through this gatehouse, straight up there's doors in front of you. You go through them doors and you can walk straight up onto the centre. To your left, to your left would be the old reception and as you can see coming back this way we're now going up towards a wing to where i want to mention a team of armed robbers and my mate sean straw that hung himself here on b wing now the end here straight in front where i'm pointing from this centre point on, that way, as A-Wing, which was Remand's. And if we just come back over here, onto the kerb, we might get a better view, because I want to explain something about A-Wing. If you see the end bit, on the end that looks like a, an extension, just the end of the wing, from that parapet thing that goes up, the extended roof goes that way. That is known as the well. And that is where all the nonces were housed. On A1, A2 and A3. From that extension right up the wing were normal remands. Going straight over that way from A wing as B wing. Where I was number one roll board. The uh, panther was in the Cate cell because he'd just got lifed up and he used to do commando press-ups against Dodd all day. Uh, what he did, his last victim was Leslie Whittle and he kidnapped her and uh, he put her in a drain in a park and uh, he waited for police to come and they were supposed to flash the lights and then uh, he'd go out, pick the money up and he'd leave a note to where Leslie Whittle was. Unfortunately, a police car turned in at that point and he thought it was on top. So he left, he left and Leslie Whittle had left her down the drain on a ledge with a noose round her neck and he told her that if she tried to escape, she'd fall off the ledge and uh, end up hanging herself. So that's in actual fact what happened. He thought it was on top, so he did one. But time law twigged on what was happening and got to him. Uh, it was actually too late. She'd fell off and hung herself. The other crew that I want to mention is a team of armed robbers. They were called the K-Twins. They robbed banks all over the country and they used different members to team each time. One was nicknamed the Country Gent. Uh, that's because he wore a deerstalker hat. He wore a deerstalker hat. And when he walked into the bank and put his briefcase on the counter, that was signalled to his brother. And he'd be stood in the doorway and blast one into the ceiling. Rest of the crew would then storm in 
and get money from all tellers. Then Country Gent and his brother escaped on public transport. Neither of them had had previous convictions. They were just doing it for kicks. Uh, now, Sean Straw, like I say, a friend of mine, hung himself on B44. He was in for kidnapping his girlfriend, who was a police officer. And uh, basically, she just had him stuck on remand to uh, he uh, he reported sick and everything because he was stressed to death because of it. I told him that she wouldn't give evidence against him in court. It was just to learn him a lesson. However, uh, he couldn't take it no more. Then one day I refused exercise to get an hour away from him. I kept trying to tell him it were all right and uh, she won't give evidence against him, but they won't have it. So he reported sick. I told him to report sick because I know what was supposed to happen. Uh, and uh, they just sent him back up on wing. So like I said that day, I refused exercise. When exercise came in at quarter past 11, Sean came and borrowed a tape off me, uh, the wall. By the time they opened up for dinner, he was actually dead. So, respect, John. Control room, that. And as you can see, how can we see him, boys? This is control room. Oh. Front main gate house. Where all the kangaroos have scarpered from. And screws come into this place. Entry there. On the front. The hand Italian. And the screws then give him the keys. Oh, you put, can't put a box over it. Put a box over yeah. it. Like I say, they shouldn't have sent Sean Straw back on the wing. And uh, I don't know why they did that. And uh, they've just covered it up. No, ever got done. And like I said, this over here, this works department. This is works department. Where works officers come and all their officers are. Uh, their car parking there, reserve parking lot. And here we go, the works department. And as you can see, the staff out here, hard at work. You know alright, boss? Excuse me, boss. Excuse me, boss. Excuse me, boss. Any chance on a word? There's the beds that they used to make in the tube shop, and he's still throwing them away. This prison has a weaver's shop, it has a mailbag shop. And this building here, next door, is the coffee shop for screws. All the screws go in here. This here is to do with oh, the prison. Look, look, it says. I mind you, that's the All the screws go in here. This is where... This is where screws come. Section LS1134, please report to admin block. That will be because of this COVID. Yeah, yeah. 300 cases. And there you go. And as you can see, there's not many struggles about. But 
Oh yeah, there's one's just escaped me. One has just escaped me and gone up the other way. <laughs> uh, as you can see, if you look at that, that's a very nice clock on that building. And over there's visiting centre. Straight opposite you there is visitor centre. Visitor centre, where the book in. Straight opposite you there. Excuse me, boss. Have you got any drugs for lads in here? They're taking in here. They've got corona, they've locked them down and everything. Have you got any drugs for them? They need cheering up. Excuse me, love. You've not been having sex with inmates in here, have you? I know it happens on a regular basis. And I bet that bag is full of drugs. For inmates as well. Screws make more money in here. Excuse me, boss. I notice you're a work screw, S. No? Are you having sex with inmates then, love? They do it here on a regular basis, and you are a screw, S. On works department. I do know about these things. You're not one of them that thinks you're a man, are you? <laughs> you know, bit time it comes out, bit time it's come out, I can't stop it. Excuse me. Ex Excuse me. That's like the theme tune that for calling the police. And calling police. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is there anyone available for comment? Excuse me, boss. Got any drugs in that bag? That's far too big for a couple of sandwiches, isn't it? I've been at works department here. I know what goes on, mate. Yeah? You, you screws make more than I could ever out here. So please, please, sell us a few. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> That's not very nice, is it? That is not very nice at all. And here, as you can see, we have got the gatehouse wide open, publicly accessible, and here you go. It'll what? Oh, will it? Look, what, if you do that? That is good. Don't get aggressive, mate. Step back away from the guy. Don't get aggressive. We're just reporting on the coronavirus outbreak. Look at the tells on this chap. The facial expressions, the stance. That is defensive, that, mate. Guys, do you have any comments to make on the 300 cases of coronavirus um, that, have, that have happened here? Why do you seem so hostile? I'm stood back, I'm stood back for you. Just watch out for this, we'll just open again, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, mate, for your respect. You are a bad officer. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Just make sure you stand back from the Just be careful with that. I will be in right with you, mate, because you've been polite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, officer. You need to change your attitude. You need to change Take the guidance off him behind you. Shit's the key that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. I didn't do no me, mate. I didn't do nothing. <laughs>
<laughs> Respect, guys. Respect. We don't need you to say help, mate. As I pointed out, the tells do it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And you people are running this place, you can't even close a gate. What's the matter with you? Excuse me, boss. Last chance. Sierra 2 from Cop Jockey 4, over. Last chance, boss. Tell us about these drugs. I already know, but I want it on camera, mate. Come on, lad, spill the beans. Spill the beans. What's going on inside? You know, the tells are just as telling as verbal words, don't you? We can read you like a book. Parts at new beds there, guys. Just brought them from tube shop. Aye, aye. That was class, that was. That was class. <laughs> 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 Right, now, I'd just like to take this opportunity to ask you to like, share and subscribe and uh, thank you very much, Armley Prison. <laughs>